Hey guys, it's Jake. In this video, I'm gonna give you some insight on how to avoid designing unappealing clothing and how to critically think about your design process. And this is obviously my opinion. This video is also sponsored by our first sponsor ever, Printful, which I'll get back to later and you're gonna wanna stay for that because it actually relates to one of the benefits for beginner clothing brands. First, I need to give an intro of understanding of a certain type of thought process. Please bear with me. This is a thought exercise and can be applied to every area of your life. But I need you to understand this first before you truly understand what makes a piece of bad clothing versus a piece of good clothing. And of course it's subjective. Every brand will look great and not great to everyone. So at least know your niche and the direction of what your brand is and where it's headed. Understand the stereotyped styles that exist right now and assess whether your brand falls into them to some degree. If you're joining an emerging wave or if you're actually starting a new wave. In any project, collection, idea, etc., there is always an imaginary spectrum of potential. In any project, task, thing, where you're creating, making, or producing whatever, there is a certain amount of potential you can reach with it until your specific vision is reached. Sometimes you reach it and you're satisfied and you execute your idea exactly how you envisioned, and other times you don't reach it, or you overdo it, and this idea would now be finished, but it didn't reach its theoretical max potential. Every idea that is good enough to finish to you has a purpose, a purpose that you give it, a purpose that comes out of thin air for the sake of existing. Only you can do this, and only you can dictate the purpose and execute it to completion. So we'll boil this down into two categories, simple clothing and complex clothing. What's the purpose? Every garment has a specific purpose for a collection, a reason to exist. A shirt with a simple logo serves as an entry-level garment to get people into your brand, nothing too special about it. If your logo is cool, then people may buy it just for the look of the logo. Or maybe if you already have a following or a fan base, people may buy the simple logo shirt as a way to just own a piece of your brand. Examples are polo tees, essentials clothing, my brand Siegs, and even Gucci. This also ties into brand image and how people want to buy any part of a brand because the brand's name or logo as a whole represents something that the consumer has an affinity to. And they want to be associated with that vibe or feeling. Like buying Supreme, Volcom, Half Evil, or Rip and Dip because you have an affinity or association towards the skateboarding community. Other examples of simple clothing are merch from YouTubers like Danny Duncan or Nelk, influencers, musicians, etc. Basically, clothing that is, usually, a blank garment that's been screen printed or embroidered, simple graphics and adornments. They may look nice and or they represent something to support that you want to be a part of. If you're on the fence with some of your graphics or are hesitant on doing a full bulk production run with your manufacturer, I highly recommend Printful as your first step in the business. They're a print-on-demand service that will produce and ship your products to all of your customers. They offer digital printing, all over printing, sublimation, embroidery, and sewing services for whatever product you're making. They pack the products and can even offer specialized notes or stickers in the packages as well. Then they'll ship your product to the customer. It's super easy and a great way to just start your brand and get some graphics and clothes out there. If you're interested in using Printful for your clothing brand, the link will be in the description below, which is my affiliate link and it helps me out to keep making more videos for you. Add over. Next we have complex clothing. I classify complex clothes as garments that are visibly more than just blanks with printed or embroidered logos or graphics. Complex clothing are clothes that have, by term, been cut and sewed with custom measurements and special adornments, things you wouldn't normally find on a standard clothing blank. There could be multiple reasons to produce complex pieces. You could want to make a wow piece, which is something to grab the public's attention and reel them into your profile or website. You could just be a super creative person and complex pieces are just your natural standard. Maybe you want an expensive addition to a collection to fill the upper price range, or these pieces could just be your standard of quality for your brand and brand image. All good reasons. Some examples of complex clothing would be from Badson.us, who makes very thought out stylized clothes, Memento Mori, mm, who makes these crazy intricate one of one jackets, and House of Errors, who make these really cool and time consuming patchwork panel graphic pieces. These types of clothes are more expensive to make, usually make more of a statement, and take more time and energy to design and create. This is why they are complex. They're harder to make and provide more value to the consumer. So we explain simple and complex clothing. How do we make good clothing with both types? We go back to the purpose of each. When you're making a clothing collection, every piece could be relatively the same price, or there could be a variety of prices. Let's focus on the second option. 
Simple pieces like a shirt with a one color print and a hoodie with a three color embroidered logo could be the more affordable side of the collection. These pieces are for everyone and express the basic feeling of your brand, the logo and its possible color palettes. Don't just muddy your collections with pointless graphic tees and hoodies because you can. Actually think about the purpose of each graphic tee and see if it's actually necessary to the collection in question. Make a nice logo and have it serve its purpose on a shirt or a hoodie. Purpose achieved, basic branding. If your collection has a theme, then make another more scenic shirt and add that to the collection because it makes sense. There you go, another purposeful piece. Then you could have complex pieces that cost more to make, look more enticing, and can be priced higher. Now let's say you have a custom puffer jacket with custom pockets, hardware, zippers, and also a custom hoodie that has a unique looking cut with a custom pocket and hood details. The puffer jacket could be the wow piece and the complex hoodie could be the more expensive alternative to the simple hoodie. Now let's make an actual clothing collection. So the simple logo tee could be a $20 shirt for the affordable side of things. The simple scenic tee could be $35 for something a little bit cooler but still accessible. The simple logo hoodie is $60 for the affordable people who want a heavier garment. The complex hoodie is $90 for the people who want something even nicer from your brand but don't necessarily want to break the bank. And the complex puffer could be $180 for something of max quality and really showcase the creativity of your brand. Pay attention to this next sentence. A truly great executed complex piece gives insight on the potential creativity and direction of your clothing brand. Because if you can make that great thing, you can probably make other great things and people will want to stick around and see what else you put out. In conclusion, think about how your clothing will serve its purpose, then execute on that purpose. You need to think about the purpose, the demographics of who the garment is for, the feelings that garment is meant to express, and how the garment will exist in the world. Will it be on the streets, the desert, hiking, business casual? All these parameters should help guide you into choosing the most optimal garment design possible to achieve your intended vision for the collection. Note, there's so many factors involved with this thought experiment. If you're a larger brand, you can have five $20 tees or even five complex pieces. Or hell, you can have all simple pieces or all complex pieces. Just make sure they each serve a purpose and all are enticing to your consumer. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my brands and check out my vector mock-up pack and manufacturer list. They're pretty valuable. See ya.